Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 22nd of January to the 26th of January 2018. As always, we're going to start with the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of currency pairs looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're looking for next week and also in the weeks ahead. So I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. Let's jump over to the charts to see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index. Now, last week we opened the week and we were starting the week just underneath the 91.02. And as you can see, we came down towards the first target here at the 90.19. And since we tagged this first target, we have gone into a bit of a range. We pulled back and retested this area up here as broken support turning resistance. And as we start this week going into a range, we are going to have a neutral bias on the US dollar index. However, we would be looking for the high probability move to be a potential retest of broken support turning resistance once again for another move to the downside to retest the range bottom and target one at 90.19. If we get a breakthrough here, we'll be looking down towards the next target and the next key area of support to the downside at the 89.62. If we get a break above the 91.02, we'll be looking back up towards the 91.71. But as long as we remain below the 91.02, we're going to be neutral to bearish on the US dollar index. Next, we have oil. Now, last week, we were looking for a pullback down towards the 69.29 area as broken resistance turning support. And you can see, in fact, not just in oil, but in a number of markets, we had quite a low volatility week last week. There wasn't a huge amount of movement. So you can see the setup going into this week for us pretty much remains the same. We have now pretty much pulled back down into this area. If we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support, that would be the ideal scenario. However, we are going to be using this pullback somewhere in this area to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking at taking longs up towards the target as highlighted last week in the 65.91. Next, we have the euro dollar. Now, last week we were looking for a target of the 1.22460, but we really wanted to see a pullback in order to get a really nice risk to reward ratio. And you can see in the euro dollar as well, last week, very little actually happened. And we just kind of crisscrossed around the target here. Now, going into this week, we are looking for a potential pullback and a retest this week of the broken resistance over here, potentially turning support. If we get this kind of price action this week, this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking back up, first of all, towards the first target, next key air resistance, to the upside of the 1.22460. And if we can get a break, through this key area of resistance, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area of resistance, the upside and target two at the 1.23586. Next, we have pound US dollar. Now, last week we started the week at the 1.3658, and we said if we had a break above here, we're looking all the way up towards last week's target up here, at the 1.3834. Now, this key area of support and resistance was actually added in this week. So this wasn't here going into this week. So this was the move you can see up towards this key area resistance last week. Now, we've had a break through here and we actually ended the week above the key area resistance, the 1.3834. So as long as we remain above this key area resistance, we'll be looking for broken resistance acting as support. And this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we start to get those bullish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the target at 1.4011. Next, we have US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week we were looking for a potential pullback towards broken support turning resistance at the 11203, and we didn't actually get that. We started to push lower below the key area of support at the 110.832. Now, again, not too dissimilar with the other pairs that we've been looking at here. We did have a kind of choppy week last week, which is kind of chopped up around the 110.832. However, we go into this week below this key area of support. And as long as we remain below this key area of support, this is going to, you can see from here, broken support turning resistance. This is going to provide a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. 
If we start to see those bearish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking for shorts down towards the target as highlighted last week at the 109.985. If we do get changes midweek and the US dollar index starts to strengthen, then of course you can use these levels both ways, which is why we provide them like this for you. Next, we have the Aussie US dollar. Now, last week, we started the week just breaking up above in this area over here around at 0 0.7900. And we were looking for a target up towards the 0 0.79551. You can see we did come up and tag this target. In fact, we broke through this target and we started to pull back and retest broken resistance as support over here. Now, as you can see, we started to make our way up towards the next gear resistance to the upside already. However, going into this week, if we do get a pullback and a retest of the 0 0.79551 area becoming resistance acting as support. This is going to provide another opportunity, as you can see, it already happened over here, to look for bullish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking, first of all, up to the target and the first key area resistance to the upside, 0 0.79551. And if we get a breakthrough here, similar as we have over here, we're going to be looking up towards the second target and the next key area of resistance to the upside, at the 0 0.81236. Next, we have New Zealand US dollar. Now, last week, we started the week actually already breaking key area resistance where it came back and tested the support. And we started the week by saying that we were in that area right now, sitting at the 0 0.72250, where we could start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we got those patterns, we'd be looking up towards the target and the next key area resistance to the upside, 0 0.73323. And you can see it pretty much came up. Uh, and tagged it to the pip here before declining. Now, if we go into this week and we start to see a correction and a retest of broken resistance over here turning support again, this will provide another great opportunity to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And again, looking to initiate those longs up towards the top at the 0 0.73323. And if we can get a break through this key air resistance this time, we'll be looking for a continuation up towards the second target at the 0 0.73750. Next, we have US dollar franc. Now, last week, we started the week breaking down below the key area of support at the 0 0.97033. And we were looking for two targets to the downside here and here. And as you can see, we actually accomplished both of these targets last week. However, going into this week, we start the week above the key area of support and resistance. Support over here, resistance broken over here at the 0 0.96168. And with the US dollar index in a kind of neutral mode, we are prepared to play this to the upside if the US dollar starts to strengthen. So what we'd be looking for is a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support. And this will provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we'd be looking to initiate longs back up towards the next key area resistance to the upside at the 0.96168. Now, just bear in mind that if we do get this kind of price action, this is a counter trend trade. And so a safer option for those of you who don't like to trade counter trend trades would be a break back below the 0 0.96168 and we'll be looking for a test of this failed support as resistance before we start to look again for the target to the downside next key area support to the downside at 0 0.95511 and if we can get a breakthrough here and a continuation of the downtrend we'll be looking down towards the next key area of support and the next target to the downside at the 0 0.94477. Next, we have US dollar CAD. Now, last week, we started the week having pulled back and retested broken support turning resistance at 1.25300. And we were looking for shorts, first of all, down to the range bottom here, you can see. But we were really looking for a breakout and a continuation to the downside down towards the targets. And you can see we actually just bounced from the bottom down here to the top to the bottom and this was on an interest rate decision last week and now we're making our way back to the top of this range so very simply put going into next week if we test the top of the range and as long as we stay below the key area resistance the 1.25300 this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at the same setup as last week we are going to be looking to initiate shorts first of all down to the range bottom at the 1.23691. But if we can get a break through here, which is ideally what we're looking for on a continuation of the overall downtrend, we're going to be looking first of all to the next key area of support to the downside at 1.22394. And of course, if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking even further to the downside at target two and the next key area of support to the downside, the 1.21589. 
And finally, we're going to have a look at gold. Now, last week, we started the week around the 13350 area, somewhere up here. And we said we were looking up towards the targets to the upside here, but we wanted to first of all see a pullback and a possible retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1324.12. And you can see we did actually have this move last week, pulling back down towards this key area of support. So going into this week, it's very simple. We are looking preferably for a pullback and another retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1324.12. But if we just get a pullback somewhere in this area, perhaps down to the 1330 area somewhere in here, we're going to be looking, this is going to be a great place for bullish formations and patterns to form. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking at taking longs up towards the next key of resistance and target one from last week at the 1346.46. And of course, if we can get a break through here. We're going to be looking for a continuation up towards target two, the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 1357.05. So that is it for me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you're enjoying your weekend, getting some nice rest and relaxation in before the trading week next week. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. And a big thank you to those of you who have already subscribed and who like and share and comment on a regular basis. Just remember going into next week, we do have two interest rate decisions coming out of Europe and also Japan. So with that said, I hope you'll have a fantastic week next week. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care and don't forget to trade safely next week.